Hello everybody, my name is Nathan Sifu, and welcome to Mass Effect 3. Let's play. And here we are back again with Mass Effect 3. Uh, this is the beginning of the session. Last time I punched an admiral in the stomach and kicked him off my bridge because he almost killed us. So, that's where we're heading to from here. So, what's Admiral Ron saying? The Geth recovers faster than we'd hoped. Turn up a little if bit. It hadn't warned us. They could have wiped us out. I'm glad that worked out. I'd hope the Geth would be useful. Indeed. I'm still double checking any data it provides on the Ripper base, though. What do you need? Uh, what do I need? Um, yeah, I'll ask all these questions. Start with patrol fleet. I'd like to patrol know about fleet. the patrol fleet. In peacetime, the patrol fleet managed navigation, internal security, and intership conflicts or crimes. Now, we mostly guard the heavy fleet's flank. It's mostly light frigates or fighters. Uh, okay, and then civilian fleet. Tell me about the civilian fleet. Our civilian ships... Admiral Corris commands them. If he survived his crash landing on Rannoch. In peacetime, they made up the bulk of our fleet. Now, our strength would even give the Turians pause. Hmm, interesting. Uh, who's the largest fleet? Tally said you had the largest fleet in the galaxy. The Turians have more dreadnoughts. Their overall military force is larger than our heavy fleet by far. But before we began this war, we jury rigged every Quarian ship in the flotilla for battle. Even our live ships have cannons. Oh, wow. Um, is that. <laughs> Nathan Sample says, This lady reminds me of Kylo Ren for some reason. <laughs> um, I've actually heard her, her voice. She has a very distinctive voice. I've, I've heard her. Um, voice acting in, in quite a few things. Like I immediately notice her voice whenever I hear it somewhere. Uh, do they ever show her face? No. Um, the most that you get to um, to seeing any of the Corian's faces in the game. Well, I mean, there is kind of the Easter egg where you kind of get to see Tally's face, but it's kind of a cheap cop out. Um, but in one of the other uh, endings, you do kind of get to see somewhat of a little bit of the side of one of their faces. Um, their eyes still glow, interestingly enough. Um, uh, that's smart. Use what you've got. Indeed. With the modifications, our live ship cannons are comparable to the main guns on a dreadnought. Impressive. They lack the armor of a real dreadnought, but they can back the heavy fleet formidably when needed. Uh, civilian fleet. Heavy fleet. What can you tell me about Admiral Garrel's heavy fleet? It was our main military force before the war. Comprised of all Korean vessels suited for sustained combat. It can't compare to the Turian forces, of course. But we have a number of heavy frigates and advanced fighter forces. Uh, whose largest fleet already asked that? And then Admiral Zen. Which fleet does Admiral Zen command? Special projects. It's not a fleet, per se. Just a few research vessels. Her technical breakthroughs have put us within striking distance of the home world. She's unstable. You're not worried about her losing perspective, given her interest in the Geth? If she can save our people, she can do whatever she wants. Hmm. All right, then. I'll let you get back to work. Thank you, Commander. And uh, what's that? Oh shit, we got Dom's playlist in the stream. Welcome! Welcome, Dom's playlist. Good to see ya. We're getting all, getting all kinds of people in here. Getting all, getting all kinds of vidme folk. Good to have yous. Uh, let's see. Um, okay, so these are all my war assets. Okay, so my war assets are actually doing really good. Um... Okay, so then dis distress call. Edie, can you clean this up? I will try. Mr. Kodesh, we've lost barriers. Our comm system is jammed. Can anyone hear this? We have dead fighters incoming. Please, uh, if anyone can hear this, we need help. We have. Ron, the Kinesh is getting swarmed by Geth fighters. 
Damn it. Interceptors, divert to the Kanesh. Thank you, Commander. If you hadn't enhanced that signal, we'd have lost the ship. Oh, shit. Good thing I said something. That actually, that actually probably would have adversely affected something later on. Uh, do, 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 do. Legion! Shepard Commander. Hey, coolest robot ever. How's it, how's it going? You say Geth fighters are targeting the Quarian's live ships? Hostile Geth fighter squadrons intend to breach the live ship's defenses. The assigned squadrons are networked with server on Ranoff. If the live ships are damaged, the creators will lose armaments, provisions, people. So we destroy the server? No, Geth programs would transfer to alternate servers. They are only vulnerable through direct interface. Removing Geth from this server will prevent significant creator deaths. We will accompany you on this mission. Uh, okay, so, uh, the Geth heretics. Back on the Dreadnought, you mentioned Geth heretics. What exactly happened to them after we blew up that satellite? Your decision was sound. Deleting the heretics resulted in fewer Geth allied with the old machines. So you don't regret killing them? It was logical. If we had not deleted the heretics, we would face an increased number of hostile Geth platforms. Death holds different consequences for synthetics than organics. Do you harbor regrets about deleting the heretics? Um... No, I'd do it again. We're already facing millions of Geth working for the Reapers. I'm okay with thinning those numbers again. You will likely have the opportunity to do so. Uh, what's that? Um, uh, Nathan, see if, uh, when you're when you have a moment, could we see your gamer score? Uh, yeah, sure. How about uh, how about between episodes? Um, I'll um, I'll I'll bring up the gamer score. Um, I can't even remember how to get there. I'll, I might even need you to guide me through it. Um, what's that? Duffy Duffy lay within a pod deep beneath the ruins of Vidme, awaiting True Love's first kiss to resurrect him. <laughs> Only a woman with meaty thighs and pretty eyes can resurrect Vidme. <laughs> that's, um, that's a beautiful fairy tale. That's a beautiful fairy tale, Nathan Sample, and it, it shall be told across the land. The Geth have fought the Quarians before. What made this different? The Geth were building a megastructure to house all Geth store all memories it was to end our isolation from each other and the quarian flotilla attacked it yes a significant amount of programs were installed when creators began bombing we did not have sufficient surplus hardware to save them all some programs could not be recovered um uh get threatening live ships you say get fighters are targeting the quarians live ships Wait, did I already ask that? Oh yeah, I did already ask that. Whoops. So we destroy the server? No. Get removing get from this server will prevent significant creation. Oh shit. Okay, how do I get that other and the Quarian flotilla? Yes. We did not shoot skipping. Okay, so you're there we go. That's what I wanted to get. Is that what made the Geth desperate enough to work for the Reapers? Yes. Imagine that for every one of your people lost on Earth, your own intelligence dimmed. The creator's attack narrowed the Geth's perspective. Self-preservation took precedence. You hmm. were afraid you'd be wiped out. We do not experience fear as you would, but we have no desire to be exterminated. Even if the Reapers cost the Geth free will? That is evidently an acceptable trade. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, what happened to you? What did you do after you left the Normandy? Our physical platform returned to the Geth consensus beyond the Perseus Vale. Data gathered during our mission confirmed that the old machine's return was imminent. We planned for war. So the Geth believed your proof that the Reapers were coming back? Of course. That must have been nice. <laughs> yeah, because nobody believed me up until the last second. We'll talk later. We will remain here. Sweet. <laughs> okay. Ah, uh, what is next? Uh, Tally! Oh, man. Shepard. Commander. <laughs> let's uh, let's drop the formality. Uh, your history. I mean... So how did you end up back with your fleet, Tally? When the war started, the Admiralty Board asked for my help. 
I had more recent contact with the Geth than most of my people. They hadn't filled the spot on the board left by my father. I was invited in. It's just a technicality. I'm far too young to be a real admiral. Don't sell yourself short, Jadi. The board needed your expertise. You needed the authority that comes with rank. Definitely. How did the war with the Geth get started anyway? Admiral Zen developed a scanning countermeasure that interferes with Geth active scans. It's like a flashbang grenade. It effectively crippled the Geth ships in combat. My fleet couldn't pass up the chance to attack. <laughs> Okay, so we got Nathan Sample, just before I a answer Tally there. Uh, Nathan Sample says, how would Dr. Sheppy uh, kiss the smelly helmet woman if she <laughs> never take off her, her Kylo Ren cosplay? <laughs> um, well, to, let's see, to break, to break it down as simply as possible, um, they need those suits to survive because they basically have no immune system after generations of being in purified environments. Uh, but she took a buttload of of antibiotics uh in the end of the last game so that we could do the uh the dance with no pants uh so that was fun <laughs> could we use it to fight the reapers it only works against the geth unfortunately their ai lets them use extremely detailed radar pings zen's countermeasure overwhelmed them with garbage data and it's useless now that the reapers have upgraded their processing power so yeah, by the end of this game, once again, she'll take a buttload of antibiotics, and we'll, and we we'll, we will bone. How is it being back with the bone before we die? Right now, it's exhausting. I'm an admiral in the middle of a war. I just want us to get out of this alive. Everything else can wait. Can you join me? When this is over, I could use your help. I can't, Shepard. If we survive this, we'll have a homeworld. My people need me. You could help your people's homeworld by fighting the Reapers. I'd like to. Believe me. But my people need me here. Yeah. Talk to you later, Tally. Sure. What's that? Um, speaking of Kyle Ren, what did we all think of the last Star Wars movie? Um, uh, let's see. Without spoiling anything, um... I thought the new Star Wars movie was... Mm, I thought it was alright. It, uh... I liked it more than Rogue One, but I enjoyed it less than Force Awakens. Um, it had some cool stuff in it. It had some stupid stuff in it. And it had one thing... <laughs> one thing in the beginning, you'll know what I'm talking about, that was actually really, truly revolting. But yeah... <laughs> Yeah, uh, it was... We've got reports of trouble at a Turian fuel depot in Sion. Oh, I'm shit. The galaxy map. Okay, we better go get it. Yeah, um... What was it? Yeah, Rogue, Rogue One had some... There were a few awesome parts in it, but otherwise a really unremarkable Star Wars movie. Um... Uh... Was it uh, revolting in a compelling way or a, sh a shitty way? No, the thing that actually happened in the movie was gross. It was, like, actually kind of vile to look at. Um, oh, wait. Whoops. Wrong thing. Any new emails? Uh, Crucible update. Oh, oh. Um, by Byron Cole. Dear Commander Shepard, thank you again for all you did to get our group of that facility on Galax. Uh, Admiral Hackett is an amazing man, and it's a privilege to work under him. The construction of the Crucible is presenting its challenges, but my team and I are determined to crack its mysteries. Although I never rely on luck, in this instance, we fear we may need a little. Stay safe, Commander. Uh, I hope your paths. Uh, I hope our paths cross again. Sincerely, Doctor Brian Cole. Uh, what was I going to say? Uh, Doctor Jacob Taylor. Hey, Shepard. Uh, the crucible. This crucible project is intense. Brian and the others are on it around the clock. Yeah, I was just reading her email. Uh, pretty soon, I'll, uh, I'll have to make a run to the Citadel to pick up some equipment at the hospital. If you've got time, 
uh, want to meet me there. There, uh, <laughs> things were so cozy on Galax. I, it'd be good to see you in a quieter place. You know, hope to see you around. And the cure, uh, Malin Haplorn. Oh, oh, Malin. Right, because I didn't kill him. Uh, Shepherd Commander, just heard the news that uh, you cured the genophage and that some of the females from my, my experiments were involved. Uh, I can't tell you how good this makes me feel. There hasn't been an hour I've not thought about what happened on Tuchunka and wondered if I did the right thing. This news validates all the pain my experiments caused. I hope one day to meet the females again and ask for their forgiveness. After you convinced Dr. Solis to uh, spare me, I took his advice and opened a clinic on Omega. I thought it would help me make amends for whatever suffering I caused. I had to leave when word got back that Clan R Rylock, uh, Warelock? Warelock. Um, oh shit. Warelock. Uh, and they put a bounty on my head for failing to deliver the cure. Maybe now they'll leave me alone. I guess this is the second time you've saved my life, Commander. Uh, with sincere appreciation, Malin Heplorn. Uh, do 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 do. Um. What's that? Um, Nathan Sample. How am I supposed to feel bad for a fiction for this fiction woman who uh, died? Oh yeah. Um. Yeah. That that's that's kind of the thing. The um. Uh, in Rogue One, I, I can't even... Okay, I can't even remember the, the name of the character in Rogue One. Like, that's how forgettable she was. Like, she just she just had no character. Like, she, she was a, just an awful character. Um, she just, just blank face. Just like, here's my traumatized face. Here's my sad face. And they were all the same. It was just like, fuck. Man, those Corian admirals are intimidating. And if you get nervous, you can't even imagine them naked. Because, like, who knows? Is a tentacle monster under there? What's, that? What's under there? <laughs> oh shit, that's funny. One moment. I have been contacted by Legion. Your new platform is inefficient. It has low volume hydraulics and is top heavy. This is <laughs> an infiltration unit meant to move among organics without detection. Without an artificial epidermis, its infiltration capabilities are ineffective. Still, the organics do not perceive it as a threat, nor will they until my day of reckoning. Edie. Did I vocalize that on the bridge? You did. You have acquired the organic attribute of asking questions to which you already know the answers. I see your humor heuristics still lack an expert system. <laughs> yes, top heavy is a good description. Uh, uh do 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 what's Joker I said. have Tally back, even if it's just for a bit. Although every time you call her Miss Voss Normandy, I kind of expect to see her walking around with a tiara and a sash. As for the rest of the Quarians, though, are we okay with them blowing up a ship with you on it? Um, I'm being... Uh, no. We are not. Right. Just making sure. Different standards and all. And you found Legion. He's still wearing that piece of your armor? Because that wasn't creepy at all. Shepard, the gates continue to block Corian access to the mass relay. The Normandy stealth drive is allowing us to remain undetected. Right. You can hit the Quarian homeworld or get out of system whenever you want. Just let us know. Ah, okay. Uh, okay, we'll see what we can do around here. Um, let's see. Okay, I, so... I think I will probably go down to the other levels. I'll talk to the other the other people it'll probably that'll probably be a whole other episode but uh yeah we will see okay so yeah we'll talk to everybody else before we move on that was fun but i'll have to pause it there if you enjoy my content and want to see more do some of the stuff that the screen is telling you and check out my other stuff if you want to see me play live check out the links in the description come talk to me maybe even play with me that is it for this episode and i will see you in the next game